Midland versus Odessa. Where should you be at? Where do you want to land at? And what are the differences between these two cities? And you're going to want to stick around to the end because there's a little secret that the natives know here that you're going to want to know if you're moving into the area. All right, so let's get started here. Let's talk about the most important thing that folks really want to know about whenever they move here to West Texas because most people are moving into the area they're moving here for, for a job. They're moving here to work. There's a lot of opportunity here. GDP wise, 11.2 billion for Odessa and 36.9 billion in Midland. And if you look at this graph here, the thing that you're gonna see is, is that over the years, the GDP for Midland has just consistently gone up. And if you look at it in Odessa, it has gone up and down, but it's, it's on less of a trajectory up. And so what I would say is Midland has done a really good job of bringing businesses in, just having a lot of opportunity here. Now, when we look at total employment, for Odessa, it's at 78,000. And for Midland, it's 101,000. So as far as jobs are concerned, there's about 30,000 more jobs in Midland versus Odessa. So the opportunity for a job is higher in Midland than it is in Odessa. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about fun. What are some of the differences between Midland and Odessa here? Let's talk about parks and restaurants and hospitality and all that. Now, when you first look at it on the surface, what I'm gonna say is Midland and Odessa are very, very similar in that aspect. And so what I would say is if you're looking for hotels or hospitality or somewhere to stay, Odessa, I'm gonna give them uh, the upper hand on this one because they ha now have the Marriott and it's gonna be the premier hotel here in the area. If you're looking to have an event or a company party and you really wanna do it nice or you wanna do it big, that is gonna be the place that you're gonna wanna have your event at. Now, as far as restaurants go, very similar. There's great places to eat in Odessa. There's great places to eat in Midland as well. You've got Cork and Pig there. You've got White House. You've got Red Oak there as well. And the same thing in Midland. We've got Cork and Pig and uh, you know the recent Cowboy Prime has come here as well. And so as far as restaurants are concerned, eating, you're gonna be on the same playing field. I would say they're virtually very, very close when I look at my, my notes here. Now, parks and recreation, if you're looking for things to do for your kids or you're looking to get out outdoors and do that sort of thing, I'm gonna give the boost to Midland because they've done a lot of revitalizing. Uh, they've redone the water parks. They're also got the Hogan Park renovation that's gonna be going on that is gonna be a huge renovation for Midland. And so as far as parks and that sort of thing, I'm gonna give Midland a bump up as far as that goes. Next, when you're looking at education, as far as uh, high schools and grade schools, Midland and Odessa are very similar as far as the number of schools. When you get to higher education, I'm gonna have to give Odessa a little bit of a bump here because they've got Odessa College and then they've also got UTPB, which is also located in Odessa as well. So you've got two forms of higher education in Odessa. And then in Midland, you've got Midland College here that's always been a staple here in Midland. All right, now let's move on to the most important piece that you really wanna know is how much does it actually cost to live in Midland versus Odessa or Odessa versus Midland, right? So the average price in Midland is 368. The average price in Odessa is 244. That is a difference of almost $125,000. So obviously your money is gonna go a little bit further for you as far as housing goes in Odessa than it is in Midland. And so this is a lot of the things that people are talking about. Should I live in Odessa and then commute over to Midland or should I just purchase a home in Midland? Now it actually is a little bit cheaper to purchase a home in Odessa, but where you actually land at is what's gonna matter because the devil is in the details. And one place that you can start at is on our website at boltrealestategroup.com. There's gonna be a button there that says start your search. And this is gonna be a great place for you to be able to compare apples to apples. You can see what 300,000 gets you for in Odessa versus in Midland. And uh, you can see what your actual payment is gonna be based on each area because all of those factors matter and you need a game plan that is specific to you whenever it comes to making a move. 
Earlier in the video, I told you there's a little secret that some of the locals here know that someone moving in might not know about. The phrase here is, you raise a family in Midland and you raise hell in Odessa. And I know maybe my Odessa folks are gonna be, you know, they're gonna be uh, giving me a little bit of an eye about that. But let me tell you why that kind of is. Well, the difference, the cultural difference between Midland and Odessa is, you know, there's a few gentlemen's clubs uh, in the area and those gentlemen's clubs are located in Ector County. They are not located in Midland County. So when you see that, it gives a little bit of a stigma, right? You can, you can use your own imagination for uh, kind of what that is. Also, as far as the restaurants go, you know, there's a Hooters and a Twin Peaks in Odessa. You're not gonna find those, those uh, businesses or those restaurants in Midland. And so I'm gonna let you use your own imagination and draw your own conclusions from that information. But that is one thing that you can think about as you're looking for places that you wanna to move to. If you enjoyed this video, the next stop for you is gonna be the cost of living in Midland, Texas, which is gonna give you everything you need to know, especially day-to-day -day items on what it's gonna cost here in West Texas.